Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the Razor Fen Downs Gold Farm. Let us begin. Okay, so today we're going to be going over the Gold Farm of Razor Fen Downs. This is a transmog based gold farm which can actually net you in a decent amount of gold. What you're going to be wanting to do is make your way over towards the Southern Barrens and you're going to be wanting to just go over to the bottom of the map. Here is Razor Fen Downs. And basically, what you're going to be wanting to do is just complete said dungeon. This isn't like Razor Fen Crawl where I only do half of it. You're mainly going to be wanting to go for the entirety of this actual dungeon. You can pull up Loot Appraiser for yourself to actually check all of this out. And there are no snags on the floor that actually get you caught out, so to speak, in that sense. However, there is a lot of different types of trash mobs which you need to be aware of, like these hanging spiders. And overall, you can also obtain things from the chests. These chests are best done if you're with a rogue because some of them are quite locked quite heavily. However, some of them are not and are actually obtainable. The best thing for this, this actual dun dungeon is how linear it actually is and how easy it is to actually do. What you're gonna be wanting to do here is just by gathering up all of the mobs and burning them down up into this first boss. Once this is done, it's actually relatively a straightforward process of just running in and gathering up all of the mobs on the left hand side. Now, typically speaking, I find this to be one of the easiest gold farms in order to do, and it's one of the ones I primarily will go for if I'm trying to get a hold of a load of old school vanilla based transmog. This is because there's so many chests in this actual dungeon, as you can see there's two right here, and you can obtain these relatively easily in the grand scheme of things, picking up a wide variety of different types of transmog and actually run the chance of getting a hold of some special recipes like the star belt recipe which goes for a, a stupid amount of gold on the auction house. Other things that you may want to pair, bear in mind when it comes towards this dungeon is the actual additional transmog that comes along with this. If we pull up Worth It right now and have a look at Razor Fen Crawl, we can see that we can get multiple different types of BOE Blues. This is the Quill Ward Harness at 55,000 gold, Death's Head Vestment at 62,000, the Thor Cast Boots, 988, uh, 988 gold, the Corp Shroud, 24,000 gold, Briere Treaders, 353. The Stormgale Fist, 11,000 gold. The Quill Shooter, 600 gold. The Ebony Bone Club, 4,000 gold. The Bone Lasher, 85,000 gold. And the Manslayer, 42,000 gold, along with our last one, which is the Freezing Shard, at 22,000 gold. Razor Fen Downs is one of the best vanilla based transmog gold farms that you can actually do. and holy damn it's worth farming if you're just getting started or you're a long time gold maker when it comes towards transmog as you can make so much gold for an hour's worth of farming it's actually pretty laughable how much you can actually make when you're actually farming all of this and how easy it actually is because once you've actually done the dungeon it's literally jump down to the bottom and you can run out and reset the instance relatively quickly or you can just use your dream walk ability to pour in and out of the instance so to speak Along with that, when it comes towards just this dungeon in general, it's so linear, it's actually laughable. The only thing is these slimes that are on the floor right now, they do move incredibly slowly, so I just pick them off one by one so they're not chasing me, and I don't stay in combat for pretty much ever. Realistically, if you want to maximize the amount of gold that you actually are obtaining from this dungeon, then I'll do this on a rogue just so you can pick lock all of the extra chests and not have to worry about if it's locked or not so to speak. That being said, you can find loads of different types of chests within the little huts all dotted around the area, so you have a, a fair chance of getting a hold of all of these different types of chests for additional loot to get a hold of. And other than that, you can find out any other additional types of gold making resources or IE content on my Patreon, either getting you started with transmog or also just farming in general. That being said, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you on the next video, which will be soon. <music>